Oh my god. It's here guys. I'm excited. Kinseed Early Access is here. And we're gonna play it on a brand new playthrough. This is episode one. I've not even done the normal intro. I've not even greeted you guys. What is up, Shark Army? <laughs> it's me, Gabe Shark. And welcome back to another video. Yeah, we're playing Kinseed, brand new playthrough. Episode 1, I'm gonna enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it too. I've been waiting for this for so, so long, and it's here. Let's get straight into it. We're starting a new game. I've already got a save file here, but already the layout looks different. I can tell it's changed already just by the layout. We're gonna start a brand new game. We're gonna be the boy, Big Sam guy, and let's read this together. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Then one day, a man without a wife or a child came to the house without manner so mild. The man looked at the orphans and stroked at his chin, then smiled at two children, each one a fair twin. He took them away to live in the Vale, in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. I love this already, just the, just the little story. Then they slept, safe, warm and dry, under the watchful stars in the sky. Sounds so peaceful so far, right? I feel like things are going to change though. It can't be so perfect. Oh, there's the sound. Wake up! Wake up, goddammit! <laughs> Wake up! Okay, calm down, I'm, I'm up, I'm up. Jesus. Let's take a look at the controls a second. Okay, so the ambient needs to go up. I want, hear, I want to hear the background. I'm not going to put the music on, I'll put that in the background myself. Because it makes it easier for editing. And here we are guys, we are moving around. This has changed. The grass, this is purple. It used to be yellow. I'm guessing it's because we're in a different season now, of course. Can we, can we check the season that we're in? We've got to go talk to her first. I think we're in spring now, obviously... On the beta, we started in the summer. Come on, lazy bones, our new dad has been kind to us, and we should be earning our keep, not having a sleep. Here's your task list. Push C to view it. What am I saying? I don't know what you're saying, twin, but we're going to check it out anyway. Okay, so actually we're in day, day one of summer. Okay, so we are in summer. But don't start in spring on this. Oh, uh, we've got to pick a dandelion, make an offering, feed a pig, harvest four carrots, harvest four cabbages, and fill the water trail. The future, the polar ice caps have melted. Apes run amok with machine guns. People solve murders before they happen by looking at their little balls. <laughs> what? And the people of Quill tell the time by picking dandelions. Nature is the best technology. I agree. Nature is the best technology. Our poor kind friends love nothing better than food. Except mud. Food and mud. And sleeping. Food, mud and sleeping. I'm being ridden around, okay, they like a lot of things, but they won't like you unless you feed them, throw something into their pen, or interact and choose the feed option, be aware of what they like. Pigs eat anything, but they aren't fans of meat, okay. Father wants you to feed the pigs, an apple should do, shake one down from a tree and collect it with the right mouse button, throw something by left mouse or choose to feed them in the interaction menu. You know what, I've never actually fed the pigs by throwing it into their pen, so I'm going to do that. You won't earn any pocket money if you don't do as you're told, so get a move on. This sibling's a little bit bossy, right? Off you go then, hold shift to run, so chop chop. You can toggle always run in the options menu. I know, we, we, this is how we normally walk, but we want to run, and I've toggled it on so we can run all the time. There's the apple, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Just throw them at him. Totally agree, that's what I do all the time, you know. Okay, so we'll collect these apples, and then we'll go and chuck one into the pen. Where did that one go? There it is. And we got two pairs, just the one. Ah, <laughs> and you see, you see what I did there? There's a lot of puns in this, guys. So if you like puns, this is your kind of game. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so let's get to work then. So first we'll feed the pig. We we'll start off with one. Okay. So if we put this on, we can just There we go. Oh wow! That is amazing. I love that you can feed them that way. Before I used to just interact with them and give them some with the interaction menu. Let's just ride the pig instead. Woohoo! Now this is fun. Hey dad, like my new pig? Like like my new ride? Listen to the, listen to the horn. <laughs> okay, this is cool. I could do this all the time. Let's let's put this pig back in the pen. Come on. You be a good boy now. Okay, oh damn, how do we get off? Okay, just just tab, just tab out. Right. Let's go and make an offering. We'll give that an apple too. That's another task done. It's another task done. There's some blueberries here. It's just their colour. They are not sad. Yeah, they're not sad. Just because the blue doesn't mean they're feeling blue. Strawberries. Forever in fields full of beetles. That, that's almost true. Okay, never drink from this. <laughs> a wooden bucket. <laughs> they're telling us not to drink from it. It must be filled of dirty stuff. Let's uh, get some water. And we're going to feed the piggy wiggy. I'm excited to see some of the new things in this. I think there's a new area now that we can discover... Um, think some new people and stuff like that. So we need to get by the beginning book, but this is episode one guys So if you want to you know keep up to date with this see what's new in the early access and Keep up to date with this now. I want to talk to the dad. I don't want to pet the cow. 
Okay, here he is. <coughs> Good to have you around. Must be much better out in the open air than spending all that time in a big sweaty shoe. I mean, why did we live in a shoe? I don't know. I won't lie, my health hasn't been great. And so I need the help, and I will reward you for every task. I left a load of signposts around the farm to help you. Use left control to read them. Okay. So he's not very well. He needs our help. I mean, these are the signposts here. We can just interact with them. You can collect honey if you have the right container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know. I'm a kinseed pro. Well, I'm not. I'm not really. So there's the dandelion. Oh, there's the watering can too. Basically, a shower for plants and flowers. Yeah, yeah, that's true as well. So let us uh, collect these cabbages. Exotic, exciting, and succulent. Three words that you can't describe a cabbage. Totally agree. Uh, the carrots are down here. Oh, has there been more? Is that more farm slots? I don't know. I can't remember if there's that many or not. Carrots. Great for helping you see in the dark. By setting them on fire. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. So we ain't got no seeds, so we can't plant anymore. But uh, we do have more apples. And oh, there's a book here as well. I'm going to read everything in this. The Long Road Ahead by Count Pixel The Studios. Or Studios. Thank you ever so much for supporting this world with your own hard-earned brass. Here in the castle, we humbly appreciate this great sacrifice, as it was either us or some other title with jangly bells and whistly whistles. What lies ahead in the immediate future of on this still developing road? A fresh new chat system on intriguing possibilities. Friendship and permission, systems, romance, copulation, localization, more monsters, more places to explore, family secrets, good store ownership, apothecary, crafting beers. That sounds good. That sounds good. I like that. Crafting beers. Mwah. Sold. Skills, perks, illnesses, arcane items, even cough, aging. Yes, all of that is coming over the approaching months, starting with the first stop of gameplay loops and exposing the sandbox features. With the feedback from the kind spirits taking part in our journey with us, we hope to reach our destination with healthy pigs and minimal spillage. So thank you all again and hang on tight and hang on tight to the reins as this hog is eager to go. And there we go guys, a little message from the developers saying thanks for supporting the game and there's a long road ahead, there's a lot that they want to do and it's all going to be coming in the uh, upcoming months. So stick around to see loads more in this game. It's come a long way and it's still coming. Okay, so there's more dandelions here. This is the time up here, this is the brass, this is how much money we have a day. Obviously I forgot to show you all the layout, this is the task list. We have got the map. We need to unlock them by unlocking the map stones. Okay, there's fishing. Tells you what fish you can catch. We've got the mealy. Okay, hobtooth. This guy seems to be the mealy guy. This is the fishing guy. No, the game crashed. Unfortunately, guys, it didn't save. It crashed, but what do we expect? It's an early access game. We've got to give it time. I'm going to quickly skip through all this and get back to where you last saw. Right, guys, so I think we are back to where we were. Done everything that we just did. I'm gonna go up here and we have found a poppy. I once got told that these flowers had reproductive organs. Poppycock. Oh god. <laughs> okay, and there's the one more uh, the map stone. I know where the other one is in this little region. So we can go and do that now as well. Collected all of the crops again, fed the pigs, stuff like that. We can read these signs. Look at the status of the crops to see if they need watering or ripe. There's a sign here. Use the wooden bucket to scoop up the poo. Coming soon. Oh my god, that is a new feature coming. The, poo the pigs are going to poo, and you can um, use your bucket to get them. Old X, B, or Y to bring up your ra radio to select an item to hold. Use a tin bucket to get water. Don't use the poo bucket. Oh, so this wooden one's the poo bucket. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Okay, so let's go up here. There's the honey thing now. Already read that. Just going to take a look around on the farm and see what we can find. Oh, there's another sign here. What's this one say? Creator notes number two, future builds will look to farm upgrades and some customization. Your family will be housed here and will be able to be nurtured to or put to work. That's a pretty cool feature. I can't wait for that. Bit of customization. Be able to have your family and your house and stuff. Can't wait for that. Loads to come with this, guys. There's the map discovered, by the way. There's another poppy. A poppycock. Um, uh, goddess statues for the village idiots by William Idol. Ancient text tell of when shortly after the agreement the Fae built statues all over quills so that mankind could honour their protectors. Each statue represented all six of the goddesses to simplify worship and to show unity amongst the Fae the Fae deities? 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 Don't know what that word is. It is said that the statues have another purpose and that if a simple offering is offered then they crawling into the hole in the base one will become dizzy and pass out inside and awaken in another part of the haven the act of crawling is likely symbolic as pr prostrating yourself fully before the goddess 
each haven as dedicated goddess, and so the offering must be her totem item. In the case of Droid a Goddess of Orchids, this is simple apple. Making an offering of an apple in another haven will not work, and so the person wishing to travel must discover which offering is suitable for which haven. A lot of Quillians do not bother with the need for this kind of travel, and prefer to walk. So you can use the statues to travel around the map, basically, it's like teleport stones, but you need to make the correct offering. Or you can simply do what I do and just walk around everywhere, <laughs> which I seem to do a lot. Okay, Truffles, the pig ate the key. Find a way to get it out. So in order to get into this little region here, this door, we need to make the pig explode so we can get the key, which, given the pig a gassy apple, which can be found on the trees, will work. So if we go in here in the house where we live, this is the lantern, a light in dark places. We've got another book here that I'm going to read. Uh, up the proverbial. Quill is a place of superstition and customs. The fact that these actually work make Quill a very interesting place to live. By abiding by the laws of the land and listening to folk wisdoms, you will be able to find the things you need to progress in life. Each thing in the world, each bird, each beast, each flower, each fruit has wisdoms that tell you of their ze that tell you of their secrets. You can even discover wise advice on where best to court your lover and even the places and times of the day where conception is at its highest. That's right, guys. Want to know how to get a baby? We'll find out soon. These wisdoms are found scrawled on pages or passed on by by the good folk of the land, although often only in friendship will their tongues be loosened of such valuable information. Use the knowledge well or you will or you will be up the paddle without a creek. You can view collected proverbs in the inventory, each item in the world as free proverbs, which should help clue you in where and when to harvest them. As of the whole proverb says, you can't take a horse to water because they are extinct. <laughs> So we can find proverbs and stuff which will give us clues around the game and help us out a lot. I just want to discover all of this area first. Of course, as you can see, we have unlocked the map now. This is where we started and this is the whole map. I'm going to have a little look around here and make sure we can find everything we can before we move on to bigger areas and new regions. So we don't want to miss anything, guys. Any proverbs and stuff like that. We want to make sure we find everything. And here is one proverb on the tree stump there. Proverb. Number one, grave lilac. The ancient dead don't rise at night because they fear the lilac white. Do you guys know what that is? What clue is that? The ancient dead don't rise at night because they fear the lilac white. So that means the lilac white comes at night time maybe. Maybe it's a herb or a flower that we can find at night time. I'm not very good at these kind of clues. So if you guys know, then let me know. So I think we've got just about everything in this little region. And anyway, episode one, it's going to be just on the farm, getting used to it. In the next episode or something, we can take a trip around and do some other stuff. And to be honest, we can probably do that now. But first thing I do want to do is get the fishing rod, which is just north from our farm. So we'll go and do that now. And then we can do some fishing like here. We've got some fish and things like that. So let us go. First, toilet break. Ah, much better. Let's go. Oh. We've got a monument stone here. What did it say? I forgot what it said. This is where I think somebody died. Oh, look. If we use the fishing hook, we can get this proverb here. I definitely want the rod. Let's go and get that one. This looks a little bit different, the area up here. I think it's changed a little. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. Now we are in Dreamer's Nuke. Creator's note number 13. Oh, we missed a lot there. Most NPCs can be married, no matter what gender. The only exceptions will be those who are goddess blessed, like masters. So we can obviously marry people in this, which is pretty cool. And we will be trying to do that in this early access, if it is available, of course. There is another map, to, map stone. Check out the map. Oh, there's only one stone. And there we go, guys. This is this region of the map. We go straight up, and this is where the fisherman lives. In this big tree, which is a beautiful place. It's getting dark, though. And what area is this here? Looks something like we can't interact with yet. Oh, it's getting really dark. We've not got much time. Night time's passing. There's the uh, fisherman. I'll go and talk to him in a second. I just want to have a look around. I don't want to miss anything. Because look, we do have a book on this tree. This is The Right Angle by Rod Puller. Fishing is a science, except science does not exist anymore. So fishing is less like a science. Whatever that was, and is more like a feeling. The feeling of sitting or standing in the right conditions or left conditions and waiting for the shadows of the fish to come to your hook. A little rippling action might persuade them to come nibbling. But don't ripple when one is near or you will scare them like Grandpa Breadhands scares children who smell of jam. Some advanced fishermen know a few tricks that can make you a wizard with a rod. Except wizards do not exist. And I simply made that word up as it sounded magical. <laughs> I like you right, whoever writes these. Really good. And lastly, do not forget to adhere to the proverb. Some fish like rain, some moonlight, some like summer and some even like loot music. So different fish come out at different times basically. I hope these tips were helpful. I don't like fishing myself. I just like writing tip books about fishing. 
other books by this author include Carp Diam, Breaking the Goldfish Code, The Doctor Who Fishes, with Forward by Patrick Troughton, Fat Hookers, <laughs> and other types of lore. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> Sharks, me. Just what are they? And what is the sea? Five star fish, quality of quantity. Sharks, just what are they? And what is the sea? What are you trying to say? Us sharks are the best. Okay, I'm just going to have a little look up here quickly. Oh, we've got uh, something here, but it's another book as well. Twig's Torn Out Diary. So Twig is the fisherman just uh, below us. I'm going to meet Mr. Fairweather tonight. The mystical Mr. Fairweather, guys. Can't wait to see him. I have my dark lights ready in my lantern. I am very scared, but Mr. Fairweather told me in my dreams that all will be well and I will be the best fisherman in Quill and the fastest runner. He is a fell fay. I read that they are tricksters and shapeshifters, but I think those are just stories to scare children. I am more scared about going into the old mine, but I have the key and my lantern, and and my lantern will drink some moonshine before I go. If anyone finds this and I have not returned to tear out this page, please give my belongings as an offering to the goddess and tell them I am sorry for what I did and not to bring me back as a moth. As I ate bright lights. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, sleepy. Oh no, let's talk to him quickly. I don't want to pass out. Twig, hello. You're the new kid on the farm. I'm not going to read it because of the time. But here's the fishing rod. Really good at catching fish. What did we expect? Just bring me a, an old fish and gift it to me. Okay, so we need to catch him a fish. I'm going to do that tomorrow. It's gonna pa I think we're going to pass out in a second. Okay, Willow Down Farm. Let's get to sleep if we can before the time goes. Oh, okay. Well, we're sleeping under a tree. That'll do me. The weather is expected to mostly be sunny with a 0% chance of rain today. And we've also got five brass waiting to collect. Uh, the siblings woke us up though. Come on, get up. More to do today. I couldn't stay awake last night. Father told me that the face sprinkled children with sleeping dust so they don't see their midnight dances. Okay, so here we are. There's our brass today. Five for completing the tasks. Another busy day. How are you going to the village? Don't get too distracted. I like our new dad. Let's make him proud. He said we, if we do well, we might even get a birthday present at the end of the season. Okay, that's nice. Right, here's the father. Here's two brass. We need an, a new tin bucket from the village. I opened the south and west gates. I trust you to be careful out there. The Vale is a haven, but always keep the path in mind. It is always safe to follow the path. Once out of the farm, follow the signs and head west to the village. My help to say hello to some of the folks there too. So west of the village, okay. South of the village is the festival green. There is a market there on certain days, like pig racing, auctions and the village woodfellow. Have a, little have a little explore when your tasks are done. On your way, I have lots to do. Lots of bugs around lately. I wish the creators could get rid of them. Yeah, if only. If only it was that easy. It takes time to get rid of bugs. Okay, so we've got the dandelion today. I'm guessing we've got to make an offering as well. This one likes the apples. Some more blueberries and strawberries and stuff. Now quickly, just going to check my inventory. We're going to sort all this equipment out. I want the fishing rod in one, lantern in two. Oh, I meant the watering can in one, not the fishing rod. Uh, they will put the bucket there. And then we've got all of these that we can eat, maybe for health and stuff, I'm not sure. I don't think we have like health and stamina in this, do we? Doesn't look like we do. I'm guessing we've got to feed the pig as well. Let's give him an apple. I want it to be a gassy one so it blows up. Get here, there's an apple here. Come on, what are you doing outside? There we go, we fed him. I'll also, oh, he's got some water. Oh no, he didn't, he drank it. Just as I said it. I'll put some in there anyway, before we head out. We're using the poo bucket. <laughs> poo flavoured water. Pigs don't mind though, do they? They eat and drink anything, right? Okay, so that'll do. Now let's go then. Let's go to the village. You want a tin bucket? Oh, I'll need to remember to get the uh, the notes, proverbs and stuff with the fishing rod. Obviously, we can hook them. And we need to catch him a fish. We need to catch Twig a fish. Oh, do you see that note there? How do we get that? Let's go back up. Oh, it's going to be using the hook again. Yeah, I see it. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. So we are now in a new region and we need to make sure... We're trying to unlock these map stones. So the Willow Down Farm is north, of course. The village is west. And Moon Whisper Ruins east and the Testy Acres are south. So we need to go west. We already know that. But I'm going to have a little loot around as well. I'm going to have a little look around as well. Because we might find some proverbs and books and these things. Map stones. Because they will come in handy. Now I still don't know what these dandelions are for. But I still collect them anyway. If you notice, you pick it up and this little thing like flickers. I don't know what it does, but it's something. Now, this is a big statue. This must be the offering. Cost one apple. Make offering. So there we go. We don't have any apples left. Damn it. So that is a travel stone. We can obviously get around much quicker if we give that an apple. I'm guessing. But we've not got any, which is strange. We need to get some from home. 
It's going to go this way because they see a proverb on the log here. Nice. So this is uh, Blood View 1. Blood View only can be found by strange face statues on the ground. Blood View statues on the ground. Okay. Okay. So is it this? This is a statue. It looks a little bit bloody color. Not sure. Oh, there's the other map stone. Check out the map screen. So now we've got a new region. Look at this big place. Beautiful. Beautiful area. I don't think there's nothing else that we can collect here. So let's just keep heading west. Get into the town. This episode might be a little bit longer than normal, guys. Because obviously it's the intro. We want to get in there. Lots to do. So this is Candle Wicker Village. We're going to meet us, uh, meet some people. We need to get a tin bucket too. Oh, look at this. Something's happening. See the daily shows at midday at 7pm. And 7pm. No shows on Droid a day. Okay, so this is Toby Joke. Hello, young'un. Heard you were up at Willowdown. I own the tavern with my wonderful daughter. We don't serve miners, but we do serve miners. Not that there are any left. My Melanie's in charge. She's just so much better at business. Okay, so that is um, the tavern owner. And this is the wife, I'm guessing. Welcome to our village. I'm Oh, no, I'm Toby's daughter and owner of the Flailing Arms. Can't serve you, I'm afraid, but come of age and I will happily fill your tank hard. Oh, there's a chicken. So we are underage yet. We can't drink. We are 12 years old. Robin is 12 years old. That's pretty crazy. Oh, there's so much to do. Right, I get all these map stones. Look at these little areas here. I've seen a few of those now. I'm not sure what they are. But I'd like to find out. There's another offering here. Oh, I don't know what I just gave that. Another monument stone. Found history of flailing arms in. Oh, okay. I think they're people who died, right? So someone who used to work at the flailing him is here. I'm going to go in there now. Something looks like it's going down. IP everywhere. IP in the bushes. IP in the tree. IP in the woodland. IP all on me. IP in the fountain and in the old dark well. IP in the valley. IP in the dell. IP when it's dark and IP for a deer. <laughs> Intellectual property. It's everywhere. <laughs> you guys thought something else, right? Because I did. Okay, so here's the app. So we've now got some apples, which is cool. I think those purpley colored ones are the gassy ones. The ledger will all allow for stock taking, ordering staff, ayers, and looking at your reputation per haven and worldwide. Okay. So we've got some strawberries. There's so much to do in this little area as well. I want to clear out all the areas, get all the books, all the proverbs. Nice one here. New proverb discovered. Proverb poppy number two. Better poppies may surprise. Where the dead close their eyes. So poppies are going to be by gravestones. That's what I believe. Maybe. Poppy lies where the dead... Close their eyes or open their eyes. Okay, this is keeping your dog from death. Feeding dogs is fairly simple. Dogs love meat. Dogs hate vegetables. Dogs like bones. Dogs hate peanuts. In fact, nobody knows what peanuts are in Quill. Ancient texts tell of walking and talking dogs who eat very large sandwiches while fighting deadly spirits. But these are just shaggy tails. Keep your dog faithful and happy with regular play. Throwing a small ball, basically, seems to pleasure them greatly. Dogs also enjoy walks and having their heads hit gently in a <laughs> batting motion. This is called head clapping. <laughs> so that's just telling you how to look after your dogs. Can't get these mushrooms. Damn it. How do? Okay, there are the blueberries. Dogs, what are they? Well, they are four-legged animals. They are not people and not some sort of fruit or small vegetable. Dogs need boundaries and I mean more than just a fence. A dog is an extension of your arm. They are your shield, your sword, your intruder alarm, your pie detector. Use a dog as a living tool. They are to carry out your commands and you will find much that satisfaction from only one. Dogs have a keen sense of smell and this is due to the fact that tiny fairies called hemangoblins live inside the blood tubes in their noses. Dogs have brittle nose bones and the strong hemangoblins <laughs> stop the skeletal bone from breaking and entering the grey skull of the dog. Great, just perfect. Exactly what I thought a dog was. Never doubted you guys. So here's another monument stone. Found history of boots of win boots and winters. Whatever that is. Oh, here's another map. Uh, the other map still. Oh, there's still one more to find. Oh, there's a lot in this area. I think that's the third one. Proverb three. Next to the streams and pools are night berries for walking fools. Uncovered trait. Insomnia. Okay. Next to the streams and pools are night berries for walking fools. Oh, we got a primrose too. I once caught. I once courted a prim guild called Rose. I left her for Daffy O'Dill, who looked like a pickled duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, owning the kin seed will reveal the fae for what they are. These will be added to the coming builds. Okay, that's pretty cool. And there's another offering statue. They want an apple as well. Do we have one now? What oh, we do? Oh. Oh, did I did I give it an apple? Oh, it did. 
Okay, so we can now travel. Oh, and we can click. Oh, this is pretty cool. Obviously, you got to unlock the areas first, but I like that. I like that a lot. Traveling might be quite cool, actually. It's something I never did in this, but comes in handy. There's another book there. There's so much to, to like to read and stuff. Did I read this one? No. There was a chicken farmer called Bob who had a huge lump on his head. So he went to the docks and discovered his cocks had a virus which they had spread. <laughs> the doctor told him the cure. He must bathe his cocks in manure, then mend his sore head with red root and bread then chop off the lump to be sure. After three weeks, the lump did return and gave Bob a terrible burn. So to the docks he did walk and after a talk, had his sore bits covered in fern. The lump it did fade well away, but came back the very next day. So Bob in his ire set a large fire and burned his cocks in the hay. The goddess smiled in approval and blessed Bob with the lump removal. The curse had been lifted. The virus had shifted. Now his wife has it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh, I don't want to cook. I want to talk to these guys. So this is Boots of Winters. Welcome, welcome. Another potential victim of the curses and ailments that simple folk often stumble headlong into. We are the best in the Vale and the only ones in the Vale. So I want to talk to this old guy here. Can we can we catch him? Can we, can we catch him? There we go. No. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. There he is. Let me sip. You look like a fine, healthy youngster. Keep eating your vegetables and horror in Droider and stay on the path and we shouldn't be meeting much, okay? Okay, grumpy old man. It's getting really dark, guys. I've not even really met everybody yet. I've also not got the tin, the tin bucket that we need. It's just so much to do. So much to do already. Some apples here, though. I'll take those. What are these? I think we can take these, actually. Basil. A bit faulty. <laughs> uh, these are nettles? Yeah. Don't be rash when picking it. Ah, oh, see, see. The puns, guys. The puns. So good. Right, this is the blacksmith. Is this the blacksmith? You can't use this the ledger. Either don't own the shop or you aren't old enough. Okay, I see. Yeah, so... Oh, no, this is the apothecary, right? So we can run a business and stuff like that, but we're just not old enough yet. We need to get older. No, I think this is the blacksmith. Yes, it is. But it's closed. We've left it too... Way too late. Again. We're probably going to pass out. Yeah. See what we can do quickly. We've got a guy here. This is the blacksmith. Jeremy Smith. Greeting, Jungster. Heard all about you. News travels fast around here. If you want anything making, I'm all yours. See Jeffrey if you want anything from our shop. He brings a ray of sunshine in the dark and smoky smithing. And this is Jeffrey Black. Well, hey-ho, and away we go. We heard all about, we'd heard about old misery guts adopting a couple of whisperer snappers. I prefer the whip myself. Well, hey. Oh, ignore me just being a silly billy. <laughs> silly billy, so English. It's lovely to see a fresh face around here. There is more life in the ancient burial grounds than there is in the village. If you need anything making, ask Jeremy. He provides all the power. I am just the face of the business. Although, quite a cute face, I think. You agree? Yeah, sure, big man. Okay. To compensate you for this book being unfinished, here is a little verse. There was a blacksmith called Nick who got a nail stuck in a part of his reproductive organ at the end. <laughs> and we're asleep. And that's it, guys. We played through two days. The weather's expected to be sunny with a 10% chance of rain today for day three. And we only did two tasks. Damn it. But I'm going to end that one there, guys. There's so much to do. And if you guys want to see more and you want to see episode two, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Let me know if you want to see more in the comments below. If you're excited to play this game or watch me play it, drop it in the comments also, guys. I, I can't wait for this. There's going to be so much to learn about, so much to discover. And we can do this together if you guys want it. Thank you for all your support. I appreciate it. You guys are killing it on the channel lately. Make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. But until then, guys, me and little boy Robin, we're going to see you on the next fairy tale in the land of Quill. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Learn to cook. Easy. I'm the master chef.